StubHub was founded in the year 2000, just a little too early to be born cloud native. They're transforming how they build software and here to share their story. Please welcome to the stage, warm welcome for their CTO, Matt Swan. Good morning, Spring One. I'm, I'm Matt Swan, I am the CTO of StubHub, and uh, I'm here today to share our mission and our journey to modernize and rethink our products. Now, does everybody know StubHub? Yeah. Well, for those that don't, uh, I'm going to take a, a quick second to show our latest commercial that really highlights our product and our brand. It's Trisha's birthday, a fine lady like that. She deserved more than an ankle bracelet from the mall. Like tickets to my sold out show. You gotta go VIP. The show's gonna be fired. Like this Beaujolais. Medium body, low acidity. Pairs nicely with the duck comfy. You're gonna enjoy yourself. Let that breathe. <laughs> so at StubHub, our mission is a great one. We're here to bring the joy of live to fans globally. Our teams are fans of entertainment and sports. We wake up every day fired up to reinvent the digital event economy. Every day we touch the lives of millions of buyers and sellers and developers. And we've got rappers on standby who pour wine in the office whenever you need it. Well, I'm excited to talk to you today about how we're leveraging the power of cloud, machine learning, microservices, data and AI to really power and reinvent our future to bring the joy live to fans globally. But first, let me tell you a little bit about who we are. We are the world's largest event marketplace. We have over 150 million customers who shop with us annually. We've got millions of tickets available at any point in time. You know, over, you know, at least one ticket is sold every second. We operate in 48 countries. And we've got hundreds of partners who are constantly integrating with us to make that two-sided market work. Um, and it's powered by over 1,000 employees that sit around the world in places like China and India and Spain. And all this means that our customers really demand leading-edge technology and a platform to serve their needs. So let me tell you about that platform. You're running the world's largest event marketplace. It's not easy. Our platform does serve buyers, sellers, and developers. You know, for buyers, we offer the world's largest selection of tickets. We offer a simple, highly personalized, always-on experience where customers can make real-time purchases anywhere they want to be. Developers interact directly through our APIs through the StubHub developer platform. We enable consumers to sell their tickets through our website and mobile apps. And a lot of people don't know we actually offer and build enterprise applications uh, for power brokers and sellers like SalesPro that serve up billions of dollars in sales per year. But in a nutshell, we make it simple for sellers worldwide. We give buyers access to our best inventory. We leverage data to connect those customers with the events that they care about. And the result's a highly converting product that's driving billions of dollars in sales. So why are we here? Anybody here have a monolith problem? A waterfall problem, maybe? a speed and innovation problem? Well, we do. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about what we're doing about it. So at StubHub, our greatest opportunities are really speed and innovation. And innovation is not that much of a problem in that we have great ideas, but we've been challenged to execute at the speed that we'd like. So we're driving towards an exponential lift with a strategy that's built on four key pillars. The first is changing our foundation. So we're making the move to commodity and cloud with PCF, uh, and also partnering with GCP. We've made the move to more automated builds with, with concourse and more of a continuous integration and delivery environment. We're doubling down on technologies like Spring, Java, React. But we're also changing how we build. We're moving from kind of a water scrum fall uh, approach to truly lean agile at scale. We're moving from a set of functional developers to full stack balanced teams. And we're moving from a project-driven org to more of a product and outcome-driven organization. We're also changing what we build, though. We are in the process of moving to an event-driven architecture. 
We're taking that monolith and breaking it up into microservices. We're beginning to experiment with serverless technologies. We've moved to Apigee to improve our developer experience. And probably most importantly, we're doubling down on data and AI. We're taking our disparate data repositories. We're moving to a single cloud-based platform. We're moving from manual, batch-driven you know, data loading to managed, fully managed streaming you know, real-time data services. And we've dramatically increased our experimentation by the move to Google Analytics and machine learning tools that really empower our data scientists. So needless to say, a lot of exciting stuff going on. How did we get there? You know, the first thing we did was set up a modernization roadmap and strategy. We've taken a crawl, walk, run approach to this effort. And you know, 18 has been a kind of a crawl year for us. It was really important to nail the foundation, get alignment with the teams, uh, and start to prove, get some proof points in place for the business. You know, next year, that walk's becoming more repeatable as we take those playbooks and are really getting faster and more efficient. And honestly, by 20, we are, should be in a place where we're kind of chasing the tail and working to modernize the remainder of the stack. But even though 2018's been kind of a crawl year, it really feels like we're running. In less than nine months, we've been able to set up our new cloud platform, our enabling technologies, our build pipelines. The team's delivered a great reference architecture that's a North Star for the company. We've realigned our teams around our products so that they can automate or they can operate a bit more autonomously. And we delivered our first set of proof points in production, proving out the value we'll provide our, to our customers and most importantly to the business. That first proof of concept app was critical for us because it really showed in a short amount of time that we could gain the trust of the business, we could teach our developers and, and, and product folks a new way to build. And to do this, we, we leveraged Pivotal Labs to help accelerate the way that we work. We showed that in less than eight weeks, we could take a team, teach them to operate differently. We improved the customer experience and app latency by over 50%. We reduced our build times from days down to minutes. We reduced our environment provisioning times from weeks to hours. And we created self-service components that we deployed that took our developers out of the way and removed them as a bottleneck, letting the business and product folks serve themselves. We also proved that we could operate with elastic scale, improve the durability of our infrastructure with near zero operator intervention. Now, as a result, we're underway to modernize our next set of workloads and really change the game for our customers. So what's next? Look, it, it hasn't been easy, and we're far from done. I mean, a lot at StubHub, we focus on what's ahead, looking ahead for our customers. And product and technology, a lot of these innovations that we see coming are going to be driven by voice, blockchain, virtual reality, you know, spring and beyond are going to power a lot of our new products. Uh, you know, with AI, we're looking to drive a radical new level of personalization across our products, thinking about our customers with a segment size of one. And that means we're going to take and harness the power of our data, data science and machine learning to really take the over 20 years of data that we have about our customers and sellers and events uh, to be everywhere our customers want to be and actually be more predictive and be where, where they want to be in the future. Because finally, our aim is to go beyond the ticket. We want to be everywhere our customers are, uh, working to reshape that fan experience with a digital lens for everything leading up to the event, at the event, and after the event. And when you apply that digital lens, you can only begin to imagine the possibilities. So as you can see, it's an incredibly exciting time for us. And uh, I appreciate your time. Thank you.